All right, well, I'm here with uh, SIU assistant basketball coach Shane Hawkins. Shane, thanks for taking the time out. And no problem. Talk, and I'm sure this is one of your home settings right here on the basketball court. That's so right. I figured play a little horse and talk some little basketball. Sounds All right. good. All Sounds right. good. Well, I'll you, take the first you, shot. You can have the first one. Um, first thing I want to ask you, what's been your biggest difference as far as when you're a player and now you're sitting on the bench watching well, another team play? Well, you know, it, the, the transition was really helped when I when I was here my first year with Coach Weber, uh, or actually his first year, and kind of got an idea of what you know, what he expected of his, of his coaching and of his staff. And uh, then I got the chance to go out and learn a little bit uh, in the JUCO ranks. I spent uh, woo, two years uh, two years at uh, Barton County out in Kansas, and mm -hmm. you know, kind of got my feet wet. Uh, and then a chance to come back. Uh, I was actually at Southwestern Illinois College last year. Uh, and again, it's a chance to learn under someone else. Uh, but any time you get a chance to work for somebody like Coach Weber, it's a, it's a great opportunity. Is it different now? Because I'm sure you'd like to be a little boisterous, you know, when you're in the game and now you're on the bench, you kind of have to be you know, cool. Yeah, I've always kind of been a leader, uh, even when, you know, when I played. And, uh, you know, Coach, Coach Weber gives a lot of, a, lot of, a lot of leeway, a lot of freedom. And, uh, you know, you do the best you can in practice to try to, you know, whether it be with the guards or the big guys, uh, just to try to, you know, get them to understand the concept of what we're trying to accomplish. Uh, but, <laughs> woo! There's an itch. Uh, you know, anytime you get a chance to, to be around something that you enjoy, uh, then it makes, the, it makes coming to the office every day more worthwhile. Now, during the Creighton game, Kyle Corver, I know you've probably heard about it by now. Oh, yeah. Sank the, uh, the three-pointer to break your record right in front of you. What was that feeling like? You know, it was something that uh, I didn't even know until he had about 285. Uh, I didn't even know how close he was. And it, but it's something that, uh, you know, records are made to be broken. You know, I held it for, I don't even know how long I held it, five years, four years, five years, something in there. Um, you know, it's obviously it was a, it's a great honor when I broke it and, you know, to hold the record for as long as I did. But, uh, you know, at that point, it was, you don't even think about it. I mean, you think about, uh, you know, how, why are we down or, you know, they're in the middle of the run. He's hit three straight threes. How do we get back in the middle of the game? You know, how do we get, uh, you know, how do we get our, to stop him? You know, what do we run offensively? Uh, so it really didn't really even matter when it happened. I mean, it's, you know, it obviously would have been great if it wouldn't have happened, but it was probably more because we had won the game. Uh, other than him actually just breaking the record. Now, speaking of threes, how, how tough is it to hit that many threes over the course of the season? Oh, well, as, as they showed on ESPN with the stat, it was, uh, you know, with, with his record or you know, his percentage compared to mine, he, he shot a lot less than I did. Uh -huh. uh, but, um, you know, I think a lot of it has to do with he's, you know, the kind of team that he's got. I mean, they're, he's got a lot more, he gets a lot more open shots than I had. Uh, we kind of struggled there. Uh, we got the tournament my freshman year, but after that, uh, we kind of struggled for, for a couple years, and uh, things just didn't go you know, maybe the way that we wanted them to. Uh, but obviously, he's, he's a better shooter. He's got, uh, he's got a quicker release. He's, got, he's 6'7". I was six, you know, two and a half. Mm -hmm. uh, I had, there were times I had trouble getting shots off, or at least getting good shots off. Uh, so, I mean, he's, he's done a great job, and he's going mean, to continue to make. Uh, he's actually got a chance to make a shot at um, the national record. Uh, you know, depending how many games they play, uh, you know, kind of assuming that they play three games in the um, uh, in the Missouri Valley Tournament and then get into the postseason, he's got a chance you now. Maybe an outside chance, but with the percentage that he shoots it, uh, he's got a legitimate chance. So uh, when somebody comes along who's better than you, hey, you congratulate them like I did after the game, and then you move on. Now, speaking of the Salukis, last year, of course, you know, you probably watched, you know, the Salukis made the run to the Sweet 16. Right. What's the biggest difference watching them from last year and now being around the team this year? You know, I was actually, I probably saw um, five or six games last year where I was actually I was able to come down here. I saw, uh, I think I saw all three in St. Louis. I saw one in Chicago. Uh, but I've talked to these guys. I talked to Coach Painter, uh, Coach Lowry, Coach Weber, I, and Coach Watts. I talked to them almost, uh, you know, three or four times a week last year. So I knew a lot that was going on with them. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's obviously exciting to, to, to be back here where the arena's full. Uh, where we're playing well, uh, you know, and you know we're just trying to make a shot uh, at getting back to the tournament and going from there. And I think that it took a while for our guys to realize that this, this, this was a new team and, you know, whatever happened last year happened and, you know, it's kind of forgotten about. You have to go out, each team is a, is a new team and it's, it's a new season. Uh, so you have to get ready and, and kind of forget the past and move on with, uh, you know, with, with the present. And I think that we finally, uh, over the last nine or ten games, we're kind of getting back in that groove. 
Now, you've won 9 of 10 coming into, of course, the game against Drake before SMS. But as far as you see it the rest of the way, how do you think this team's going to fare? You know, I think that this road swing is very big for us. Uh, we kind of set back uh, two weeks ago, and you know, anytime you know, our, our schedule has been very rough. We had four out of five on the road early. Uh, we had in a move of three in a row on the road now. Uh, but we thought if we could, you know, win two out of three, uh, then we'd have a chance to stay right in the thick of things. And then anytime you win that first one, uh, and we knew it'd be very tough to win at Wichita State, uh, but anytime you win that first one, uh, now we're thinking about getting a sweep this weekend, and it's going to be very difficult. Uh, Drake's kind of struggled, but they're at home. And anytime you have to go on the road, uh, things are things are a little bit unpredictable. You kind of have to expect the unexpected. Uh, you know, hopefully we can get out of there with one and then take a shot on Saturday night at SMS. And uh, you kind of just have to play it out. I mean, you can't really worry about uh, SMS playing Evansville on Monday night uh, or, you know, Illinois State and Wichita on Tuesday night. You have to worry about, uh, you know, your next game, your next opponent, and then whatever happens uh, with the rest of the league kind of happens. All right, sir. Thanks for taking out the time to talk to me. And, uh I appreciate Hopefully, it. you guys get them at SMS. I know it's going to be a tough game. Of course, at the Hammond Center, they always play tough against Bruce yeah, Weber. We know that's right. Record. We, you know, even you know when I played there, we struggled to, to win, and it's it's a great atmosphere. And uh, you know, we're going to line them up and take our shot at them, and then you know we always have them coming back here too. So. But the way you took shots at Wichita shouldn't be a problem. Well, it's, well, we'll, we'll find out. All right, I thanks appreciate. for taking the time out. Hopefully, we'll get to finish our game. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so I'll let you take the final shot. All right. We'll, we'll end it there. Ha, <laughs> ha,